Adding webhooks to a WordPress site is actually pretty easy, and I'm going to show you with a free plugin. So let's go over to my desktop right now. What's up, everyone? Like I said, I'm going to show you how to use webhooks on your WordPress site. That means that you can connect Pavli Connect, Zapier, Make, etc., and use the power of webhooks to do a lot of things with your WordPress site. Now, in this case, I've already installed the plugin. Go head on over to plugins, add new, search for WP webhooks. It's this one right here, made by Cosmos Labs, Iron Nickets. This one right here, that's the one I'm using, okay? And once you have that installed and activated, you're gonna find it over here in settings and webhooks. Now, before I show you how to use this plugin, check out my sponsor, which is Hostinger, which has really great affordable hosting plans if you need one. I do recommend them and I have an extra discount coupon code that you want to check out. So jump over to the link in the description, jump over to hosting, web hosting to check out their share hosting plans. And you're going to be viewing the ones that they have available right here. They got premium business and cloud startup. Let me show you the business one because it's one of the most popular ones. And so you can see how much it's going to cost you with the coupon code. Now, once you're here, you want to select the amount of months that you want to lock in the price for. In this case, 48 months is the best way to go lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're set to go for 48 months. Now, right now, the price is $191 with 52 cents. But if you add my coupon code here, which is SAS master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. That means that that's all you're going to pay for 48 months. So that's a really good price. Now, let's jump over to this tutorial. So like I said, I'm already using the webhooks plugin right here, and it's already installed. With this plugin, you have the option to receive data and send data. If you want to receive data, that means that you're going to use some automation system to create a post for you, maybe change some SEO settings or some SEO tags, whatever you want to use that automation for, you're going to use receive data. And if you want to send out data, that means that things that are happening on your WordPress site are going to be sent out via data. So in this case, you have several options. And since this demo site has affiliate WP, it actually detected it and I can use these options. Now, be aware that the free options don't say pro. So you have all these options to use that don't say pro. So that's pretty good that you're going to get all of this in the free plan. So let's just say that if someone comments, you can send out a webhook data so your automation could do something with it. In this case, I'm going to use, for example, when a post is created. OK, that means that when a post is created, it's going to send out data to my automation system. OK, so let's go ahead and add a webhook and I'm just going to name this post test and then it's going to ask me for the webhook URL. Like I said, you can connect to Zapier, to Make, to Pavli Connect, Automize, whatever you want to use that has webhooks. OK, in this case, I'm going to show you with Pavli Connect. I'm going to create a new workflow and I'll just say test delete for later. OK, and I'm going to create it. And this is going to open up my automation system here in Pally Connect, and I'm going to be able to build my system. The action that I want to use, the trigger, is going to be webhook, okay? That means that when a post is created, it's going to send that data here, and I'm going to do something with it later on. Maybe I'm going to modify it. Maybe I want to repost this on Facebook, on Twitter, etc., with this automation. So here's the link. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to paste it over here, and I'm going to add it here. Okay. So here we go. I just added this post test and here's the webhook URL over here on my public connect system. It's waiting for a response. So it's waiting to be triggered to capture data the first time. Okay. So let me go ahead and create a post. Let's go ahead and add a new post. And I'll just say test and I'll say test again. And yeah, I'll just keep it simple, right? You can do as complex as you like. In this case, this is going to be really simple. Let me go ahead and publish this, publish it. And we should be getting the data over here for the auto draft when it receives it. So here we go. We just got this. We got the data and we have the post ID. We have the post author. In this case, it's just number one. But if you had names for them, you would receive them here. The date, it's auto draft, it's auto post status, auto draft also, post comment open. A lot of data that you're going to be able to use right here that is going to help you automate the process for it. So, for example, if you want to get alerted via email every single time that a post is created, well, you create the action for that. Send out an email. So if you want to get a Gmail or if you want to get an email via Pavli system, you go ahead and use whatever you like for your notification 
or if you want to make it more complex, if you want to do something with it, it's possible in this way. Now, I just want to show you the overall idea of how to use this plugin. So again, if I go to webhooks, right now you just saw that we send out a data when a new post is created. Well, the same concept goes when it's a new comment, a comment is deleted, trash, depending on what you want to use it for, you can go ahead and trigger an automation with this data. Now, the other way around, if you want to make a post with some data, I can receive data in all actions and I can now receive data from outside sources with a webhook URL. So I can create a webhook URL. I'll just say test, create, and I've just created my system right here. And here's the webhook URL that's going to work the other way around. So if I have a system that needs access to my WordPress site via webhook, I use this one right here. Now it's a great plugin that you can install right now that's free. And if you need the pro features, then jump into the paid plan. But I mean, most of us are going to do fine with the free version in case you need the pro features right here, then go ahead and do the paid plan. But if not, you're good to go. So there you go. That's how you're going to use webhooks in your WordPress site with this little plugin that you're going to install for free. And that's a wrap.